I have a problem with breakfasts, I'll be honest with you. Breakfasts are my, the time that I skip the most, that I should skip the least. Shame on you, that's I right. I know, and my problem is, is that my whole life, uh, all the time I was growing up, uh, we would have either eggs, you know, fried eggs or scrambled eggs and toast, potatoes, or my mother would fix pancakes, and now it's come down to, well, you know, we're so... We're, I don't, I'm sure everybody's the same way. We're so rushed in the morning, and we're always late, and no matter how early we get up, we're always, you know, running around trying to get out of the house in the morning. And so the only thing it comes down to is a bowl of cereal, mm -hmm. and then you're back to using milk and the dairy products, which we're, we're trying to get out of in our house, household. And I'll be very honest with you, I, I haven't found a milk substitute that I really love, and I hope Try. I don't make enemies here, <laughs> but I... And breakfast, and I'll be very honest with you, I usually end up skipping breakfast. And I know I shouldn't do that, but yet I don't know of any really good breakfasts that are quick and easy, that are healthy, that are a delight. Uh, well, see, like this one you saw was very easy to put together. You know, you can just go home, put it together the night before, you know, put it in the oven while you're reading or whatever, and then warm it up in the morning. Another thing, try the West Soy Light. That, to me, is the closest to cow's milk on cereal and if it needs to be you know your cereal needs to be a little sweeter maybe a little bit of pure maple syrup on it but try not to skip breakfast and have your fruit especially in the morning with your grain cereal's not bad but make sure it's a good whole grain cereal not some like the sugar frosted whatever you know and it's just like going on a trip when do you put gas in your car at the beginning at the beginning of the we don't the have trip, a problem right? with lunch uh, or, or, or you know, dinner, supper, okay, getting your, balanced meals, but it's the breakfast. Okay, put your alarm clock 15 minutes ahead of time. Okay. And don't hit that snooze button. Really? Get up and pray about it. Oh, you know? really? Because I agree with when that. You Make start a matter of you know, When you start a trip, you put the gas in the car in the beginning. You know, you'll find that you'll feel better, you'll have more energy through lunch, you'll have that more stamina, your mind will be more awake because you fed your brain with some nutrients. You feel a lot better. I think the meal that most of us fail on is, is breakfast. I, I know that I, that I do. And I the, think that's the where we need to The one you'd want to take out the most would be your dinner. Right. Because that's when you're least active after dinner. Yeah. That's when the food sits in your stomach. You're usually not as active. You're not out exercising or on the run. And that's when the calories and pounds, that's when you usually put them on is the dinner time meal. So we mimic, our dinner mimics breakfast. And our big meal is our lunch. Okay. You had a question? We use a lot of fruit sauce. Just grind pineapple and pear or pineapple and peaches. Right, make put your on own. Cereal. Very easy. Very right, tasty. very easy, very good. And it keeps in the refrigerator for a right. while, so you can put it on um, toast, waffles, pancakes, whatever. Right. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go on to our next recipe, or do you have another question? Okay. What about people that work at night and are up all night and sleep during the day? What about, you know, what about breakfast? I really, you know, I really have a problem with, with breakfast because I work at 10 o'clock at night until 6 in the morning. So your time schedule is off. So you'd be eating, you'd be eating what, dinner at breakfast time yeah. or whatever? Um, I think just try to go with your schedule and, you know, whenever you can, you know, when you start the day, if it's 10 o'clock, then eat, eat a good balanced breakfast and I would eat you know a lot of carbohydrates because that's what's going to give you your fuel to get going and then when you take your lunch break eat a good sized lunch break and then a lighter dinner when you would go to sleep which would be in the morning for you right mm -hmm. okay. so if that's your schedule I think maybe that would be best thank you 